When the touring delegation that is representing the government met with the businessmen last Friday, Minister Patterson, who chaired the meeting, said that the intention of the sit-down was to have a frank and open discussion and also to provide the businessmen with updated information. I, I will give you a full overview of what, what the, the reason we had held this meeting was to, uh, to, to brief the private sector as frankly as possible on, on, on where we are at, what, have, what has transpired, what we're doing currently and what we, are, we tend to do. Um, because there was a bit of, um, I, I, I say, sort of, there's a bit of fake news on several issues or misunderstanding of what was happening. Minister Patterson said that the only reason he was now a part of the delegation addressing the matters surrounding the prison fire is because he was roped in to assist with the construction of the facilities that will temporarily and permanently house those who have been displaced. I, I might be the strangest person to be talking about something in national security, but I was right in. We are explaining to them what has happened, the current conditions the inmates are, and the temporary holding facility which has been erected and which should be completed. The works at um, Camp Street, which um, the clearing of Camp Street and, and, and rehabilitation of Camp Street, the one um, surviving prison structure. When Headline News visited the Camp Street site today, we saw massive infrastructural works being carried out. We were unable to reach any of the officials who can speak on the works being done. However, Mr. Patterson did say that all the works that he was responsible for should be handed over to the Ministry of Public Security in short order. Um, while I, as, a, as an infrastructure person, um, has given that, that timeline, in our opinion, it's finished. But obviously when the prison personnel walks in, they say, well, you've got to move this minor thing because if not it would cause a they, they can use it as a weapon because obviously they are way more familiar of the, the, the things that I would have taken for granted um, I can say to you they I mean we they they, they, not, they asked us not to put certain um, type of fittings on, the, on in, in, in the show area um, I would not um, thought of that but obviously um, they're the experts so if we the minister gave a breakdown of the size of the facility and the amount of the inmates that they are planning to house. Right now, right now, right now, in the in the there are 711 persons, bodies, inmates, um, human beings in the um, in the Lucina, in that general area. He said that when you subtract out the guys who were sent to Mazaruni, to Mary, New Amsterdam, Cam Street and inside the Luziknan prison, there would be some 485 inmates who will be housed in the temporary location outside the peripherals at the Luziknan location. It's adequately, it can accommodate up to uh, more than 500, uh, much more than 500, and it's, um, we've partitioned it off, you know what I mean, as requested by the, um, the prison service. It's surrounded by a wall, a concrete wall, a solid concrete wall of uh, about uh, 18 feet high, and then we have um, five and six feet of um, razor wires. We have lookout towers, we constructed lookout towers, we lit it, and we've taken all the precautions that were given to us by the police. So, so far, George, four of the escapees are still at large, and the manhunt continues. For Channel 2 Headline News, I am Wendell Jeffrey.